Hi friends, I'm Molly Wynan and I'm here today to talk to you about confidence and give you five tips that you can use to build up positive body image and help change the language that we use when talking about ourselves and other women and build each other up in the community. So our first, first tip for being a more confident and empowered woman and helping to empower other women is to change how you think about yourself. One thing I see a lot is women who have confidence issues based around social media. We sit on our phones all day and we scroll through Instagram, we scroll through Facebook, and you're seeing the highlights of someone's life. And if those highlights, if you're seeing um, people flaunting bikini bodies and talking about their six pack abs. And, and if that makes you uncomfortable, if that makes you depressed about yourself and your body, you should unfollow them. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with looking like that, but if you are seeing that stuff or anything that makes you feel that way, makes you feel insecure, makes you feel like you need to change something in your life like that, um, you should unfollow them. You do not need that in your life and you are polluting your social media feed by following those people. Again, not saying there's anything wrong with looking like that, but you know you and if, if being on Facebook makes you feel bad about yourself, then you need to change something in your Facebook feed. Same with any social media. Is tip number two is to change the language we use when we talk to ourselves as well as to other women. Um, it would make you feel really sad if your daughter or son or friend came to you and said, oh my gosh, I hate, I hate this about my body. I, I'm so fat. I am so this. I'm so ugly. It would crush you. It does crush you. It's so sad to see women talk about themselves that way. So why do we talk to ourselves that way? When we stand in the mirror, why do we say that to ourselves? It's, even even as a joke, you guys, it, it cannot, it is not good for you. It does not build yourself up. So I challenge you, number one, to change the language that you use to talk about yourself. When you stand in the mirror in the morning, tell yourself something that you like about yourself, about your appearance, but also about yourself as a person. Um, and then when you go to compliment somebody, don't always just talk about their appearance, right? Like if you have a friend who's losing a lot of weight or, you know, change something about themselves on the outside, yes, it's, it's fine to, you know, it's one thing to acknowledge that they're working hard or that, um, you know, they do look pretty, but it's more important to acknowledge the other things. Um, if we're always talking about our appearances, that's how we train our children. Um, and you want to, you want to build each other up because of our confidence or you look really confident today or, um, their mental abilities, their, how clever they are, how wonderful they are, what a good kind of person they are, not just based on their physical appearance. So I challenge you to tell, give yourself a compliment every morning. Um, stop talking bad to yourself. And number two, give someone a compliment that is not physical. It's not physically related at all. Tell them they light up the room. Tell them they're an amazing person. Any of those things. Tip number three. I posted about this earlier today. You can go ahead and um, find that post a little bit up on my page if you're on my business page or in my group or whatever. Uh, it's to weigh yourself. I firmly am so against scales and weighing yourself and like saying, oh, I need to lose 10 pounds to do this. Or if I lose 15 pounds, I'll feel better about myself. Anything like that. Why not weigh ourselves based on our abilities? Yes, losing weight can help you do more things. And yes, um, being healthy is important. However, you're so much more than a number on a scale and I am so against any um, diet or anything that has you, you know, like weigh yourself every day or anything like that. Whole nother topic. Why not focus on 
the amazing things you have in your life, your skills. Um, weigh yourself in the number of kisses you get from your children or weigh yourself in the adventures you take. Weigh yourself in other things that have to do with your self-worth rather than a number on a scale. Tip number four is to wear confidence. There are so many ways you can exude confidence, um, but I think the most important thing is um, just to wear things that make you feel confident. I, you can't see right now, I'm wearing white pants, you guys. I was wearing shorts, but that was a long story. The children didn't work. Um, I'm wearing white pants. You're not supposed to wear white pants before Memorial Day, but here we are. Um, so who cares what people say is on trend? I am not in the business of fashion. I sell clothes, but I am not an on trend fashion person. If that's what you're looking for in me, that is not who I am. Um, I just like to wear clothes that I love. And I think you should too. If you love this color that everyone says is like a terrible color, I don't care. Wear that freaking color. Just wear it and rock it and exude confidence with it. Um, it does not matter what fashion says. It does not matter anything like that. If you love a pair of shoes that are super uncomfortable, you wear them. Know, know that you're going to pay for it later, but you go ahead and wear them. Or if you wear something that is completely not fashionable in order to be more comfortable, go you. If that's what's important to you, you do you. Um, the most important thing is that you're confident in what you're choosing to wear. And that sets the tone for your entire day. So I do encourage everyone to get up and get dressed in the morning. I know it can be hard, especially as mothers, mothers of young children, Mothers of busy mothers, it's so hard sometimes. Sometimes I get dressed at 3 p.m., um, but I always feel better when I do. So get dressed and love what you wear. My last tip, tip number five, is to be you. That sounds so easy, right? And so hard. Pause. If you like these tips and feel like you would like to take notes on all of them but you're like oh shoot I don't really want to be in school do me a favor and email me at lularoemollywinen at gmail.com just put wear confidence tips in the in the notes or whatever somewhere on there and I will send you a copy of my show notes and I'll you'll have the whole thing so you don't have to take notes on it so tip number five be you. I saw this quote and it's amazing. It says, be so completely yourself that everyone else feels safe to be themselves too. How true is that? When you see someone who is completely comfortable in their own skin, you're like, wow, that's, you know, that's not who you are. You're a completely different person, but it, it makes you feel so, so okay with yourself, right? And don't, isn't that how we want to be? That would be amazing. So be you, be as you as you can. If right now I am completely not wearing makeup and my hair is like, ugh, this is me. This is how I feel good. I feel confident and comfortable. I am not going, I'm not going to waste my energy putting on makeup or doing my hair because honestly, I'm probably going to hate it anyway. There are times when I like doing my makeup. It is not when I've been home with my kids all day. Um, and if, if doing your hair and makeup is what makes you, you, it makes you feel like you, then do it. Totally do it. It is not what makes me, me. So I'm not going to do it that often. Sometimes yes, but not often. So find some things that are super you. And even if it makes you a little bit more vulnerable, I feel a little bit more vulnerable without my makeup on. However, I feel more me. I hope you enjoyed all of these tips. If you did, please leave me, I don't know, some acknowledgement that you, 
that you listened to this and look forward to more tips coming up later.